Uh, this morning, we are following additional questions over the train derailment earlier this month in East Palestine, Ohio. This is near the Pennsylvania state line. Last week, authorities intentionally burned the chemical cargo to avoid any explosion of the hazardous materials on board. Since then, residents have been told that they can return home. All right, Lincoln J is a journalist for Rebel News. He is on the ground there uh, in East Palestine, Ohio. Uh, I'll hand it over to you, Lincoln. Since arriving there in, in, in East Palestine, Ohio, what have you seen? What, what have you heard? So we arrived on the ground two days ago, and just from driving around with uh, my producer and I, it seems like business as usual in this village. Just to put it into perspective, it is a small village. I believe the population is just under 5,000 5, people. So it's quiet as it is. But cars are driving around, people are walking around, and life seems like normal. But it's only until you start digging deeper and start talking to the locals, you start talking to the residents here, that you see that it's just not the case. And, and many of them are concerned about potential health hazards from the chemicals spilled. Right. You actually have to talk to people on the ground. Uh, when it comes to health, have anyone described maybe what they're experiencing in the days that followed since the derailment? Yeah, we've spoken to a number of people. And one of the most interesting people we spoke to is we caught a mother and her young child just running into their house. And they were willing to speak to us. And they they told us that they're just running into the house and then they're going right back to grandma's house because they don't feel safe there. And it's not just about that they don't feel safe. The daughter is breaking out in rashes. She's probably around five years old, maybe younger, and she's getting rashes. So the mother decided they're not taking any chances and they're just going to get out of here. The evacuation order has been lifted. Like I said, the residents have returned, but many of them feel that it's just not safe. And many of them also don't have a choice. They don't have anywhere else to go, whether they can't afford it, they don't have a place, and they're basically stuck here and have to deal with it. Yeah, the uh, and, and some haven't returned. Some have left and decided not to come back. The Ohio Department of Health issuing this warning to returning residents that we're speaking about in East Palestine. Listen to this. At this stage in the game, uh, we are recommending that uh, people in the community consider using bottled water. Um, there, uh, we are awaiting results uh, of testing of the uh, municipal water sources that are going to be fairly detailed and will allow us to have um, a very complete look at the potential compounds that could be involved. So again, encouraging folks to use bottled water in the area. There's also an open house tonight. Um, are you going to that open house tonight? Do you plan on, on attending? And, and what will be some of your questions you want answered? Yeah, we will be attending the open, the, uh, the town hall tonight. And an interesting uh, point about the town hall was it was originally scheduled for one of the buildings close to me on, on the main strip here in the village. But they had to relocate to, I believe, the high school gymnasium just because of the amount of people that want to, uh, to come and attend. And I'm not so much specifically focused on the questions that I'm going to ask. I'm more so focused on the questions that the residents and the locals are going to have, because it's kind of a question and answer period at the town hall. So it's going to be very interesting to see some of the concerns being raised from, from the locals. We went into a gentleman's house yesterday, and he showed us around, and he was telling he was telling us what he's been dealing with since the train derailment. And he claims that when he moves clothes around in his closet, when he moves his bed sheets around, that he's getting odors popping up from the smells, from the clothes. Now. Hmm. That's just one instance, yeah. and it, it's one of many instances that, that people are dealing with. Sure. Questions about what resources might be made available to these folks if they do have to relocate. And then, of course, you know, why this derailment took place in the first place. Uh, Lincoln J., thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Keep us posted what you learned tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, this train